Hi. So today we're going to talk a little bit about some of those techno gadgets that you might want to consider buying your loved one who might be concerned about losing power and not having their techno gadgets. So today I've got Sammy Macrito on with me and we're going to talk about some of those items that you can pick up. Um, many of them are available for under $100 or even less online. Uh, we'll have a link on our page that shows items if you're interested in buying them. So the first one we have here is this flashlight, which is a combination. Uh, it's a flashlight that you can crank up, you can turn on the light, and uh, it's powered both by manual energy, so you, you can get it powered up. It's got a solar cell, and then it also has a convenient USB charging port, so you can if you had to, you could hand crank and recharge your, uh, your tablet or smartphone uh, to give you power if you're in the darkness for a long period of time. And one of the most important things about it is that it's got a, a, a FM AM band on it. So if there were an emergency or an outage, you'd be able to uh, get news and find out you know, where resources are. Right, and something I feel uh, is so important about this one is having the functionality of being able to crank it as well as the solar because yeah. uh, let's say the power grid is out, you can leave this outside all day with a phone next to it and get a charged phone at the end of the night. Or you can crank it all night. Or you can crank <laughs> it all night. So we've got, uh, speaking of solar, there's a, a real neat gadget that if, if you wanted to make sure that you could power your laptop, uh, this uh, battery power system by Voltec uh, produces 20 watts, which is enough to charge uh, some of the the newer laptops and there's a cell that they a battery pack they sell with us that you can charge up which can really charge a good number of devices and this can even be strapped um, you can tie it to your back while you're hiking right and pick up a exactly yeah and uh, it's it's super important to have one of these especially if you have more than just a phone that you're trying to recover yeah. Um, because you can basically just go with this solo thing and be able to charge not only your laptop, but also your phones. So exactly. it's better to have more yeah. wattage in. Yeah. So um, now, those are great devices for the short term, but if the power is out for a while, you're going to want some other things. And um, one of the, the things that most people are going to want is they're going to want to have the ability to start a fire, to cook food, to sterilize um, water and, and whatnot. Uh, so this device here is a USB uh, chargeable electric lighter. And what <laughs> I thought I hit it the wrong way. <laughs> it produces an arc flame, which is just electricity. And so using the battery cell, the radio, you could recharge it and you basically have unlimited abilities to start fires and you don't need matches and it can be it makes a great torture device too. Yeah, and it's winter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that, that's one uh, nice device. Uh, this is a, another uh, uh, device that's pretty handy. It's a flashlight. It can also be used for signaling. Uh, so if, if you're trying to get help, um, it might be useful to be able to do that. It's got a solar cell here. It also has this handy uh, metal tip that can be used to shatter a car window shield, so it's not a bad thing to keep hanging around in your glove box. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, one thing that this is can be commonly used for is you might ask, why would you want to break your car windshield? Uh, let's say you went off the road and are now in water, uh, sinking, sinking with your car. Yeah. You can pull this out of your glove box <laughs> and be safe. Yeah, it's got some other things too. It's got a magnetic tip, so you could magnetize um, a, a paper clip if you needed to to float it on water and Great get compass. your direction to the North Pole. Um, it's also got a handy clip and it's got a siren. So if you have a wildlife is approaching you, that might be enough to scare wildlife off or an attacker. And this tip too, you could also use it to, to whack at something if it's coming towards you. So Absolutely. pretty handy device. So one of the most important things you probably need if you're going to survive a long-term power outage would be access to water and the ability to have purified water. And this device here is Portable Aqua Pure. It's electrolytic water purifier. And how it works is it has, you're able to hook up hoses to pump 
water from one source from into another source. So you need to have two water bottles with it ideally, but it has a solar cell on it and you add salt to it and the salt gets converted into chlorine so you can purify water and get rid of biohazards. So very, very awesome. handy. And again, with your flashlight or with your radio, you can, you can recharge it and with very little salt, you have virtually unlimited ability to purify water for quite a long time. Nice. And what do you do in the case that you don't have power? How can you purify water uh, without the ability to make fire, without the ability to use that device? Yeah, that's a good question. So if, if you have a clear bottle like this one, you can actually uh, scoop water up out of a river or stream. Now you can't do this with salt water. The sun has the ability to sterilize water of biohazards. It's not gonna get rid of contaminants, chemical contaminants, but it could purify water. So having clear bottles, laying them out in the sun for a few hours, the sun will, will purify the water. So that, that's another thing that could be useful. Well, great, we hope these tech ideas are good last minute shopping gift items for your nerds at home. Uh, talk to you soon. Thank you.